everyone coming to you from a similar space and maybe just a different medium than some of us are used to. Um, if you are having trouble making it into some classes, uh, I'm going to do my best to film a few flows um, and you'll have to forgive me. Sometimes it's hard to <laughs> speak and move at the same time, um, but we'll give this a try. All right. Whenever you're ready, come down to a comfortable seat. You can rest on your shins, on a block, or on the sits bones, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And then go ahead and just soften your shoulders. Soften your seat down onto the mat. Maybe just draw your low belly in slightly so that you can lengthen the spine. And as you feel grounded down into the mat here, Feel your spine beginning to lengthen. See if you can feel your chest broadening, your heart opening. Starting to connect to your breath, breathing in and out softly through your nose. Deep inhales and exhales. Bring the fingertips together and then from thumb all the way to pinky and then spread your fingers wide away from each other and then go ahead and bring your hands towards your heart center so into Makini Mudra the elbows are gently lifted just a little bit lower slightly diagonal from the wrist so that you can start to feel some activation in the arms but most importantly feel that connection of your fingertips Maybe feel the connection of the thumb into the sternum so that you can start to connect to yourself, to your intuition, to your knowledge, to your center. I find this mudra really helpful when things are feeling chaotic, when I need to take a break from the chaos and just settle my mind, come back to myself. So I invite you to do the same. Take three more inhales and exhales here. If you'd like to bring the mudra up towards your third eye, you can press your thumbs in towards the third eye, feeling just that place above the eyebrows. If it feels better to rest it at your heart, remain there. On your next inhale, sweep your arms down towards your hips and then lift them up and overhead. Press your palms together, seal your fingers together, and then take your palms towards the sky, flipping them and then dropping the shoulders down. Lengthen up through your heart, inhale. As you exhale, bring, begin to round into the spine, bring the chin towards the chest and bring your arms towards your chest. Inhale, reach the arms up, finding that space through the spine, and then exhale, contract. One more time, inhale to lift. Draw the shoulders down and away. Exhale, round, contract the low belly in. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower the right hand towards your right hip and reach your left fingers up and over. Breathe into your left side body. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, both arms back up through center. Lower the left and reach the right. Feel your right side body growing longer. Maybe draw your right shoulder away from your ear. Take a breath. Exhale. Inhale, rise back up through center. And then if it's comfortable, just start to hinge from your hips and crawl your fingertips forward out in front of you. Eventually, we're going to land in tabletop pose. Pressing into the palms, pressing into the shin. Finding your tabletop pose here. See if you can hug the pelvis gently forward. So there's a little tilt in the tail to make the spine nice and long. And then on your inhale breath, drop your belly towards the mat, lift up through your sternum. And exhale, arch, tuck, round everything in. Find that space, press into the mat. One more time, inhale, make it long. Big breath, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the seat. Exhale, arch, tuck, round everything in. On your next breath, finding a flat spine. And then beginning to take 
Take your right toes back behind you in space. Lengthen out across the right leg. Feel the breath here. As you exhale, gently begin to bend the right knee and then open the right hip up. So feel into the right side body. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. As you inhale, re-extend your right leg long and then squeeze it in towards your hips. Inhale, extend it long. Exhale, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, three-legged dog, shift your hips towards the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, begin to open up through the hips, stretch long through the right side body. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the right toes through your hands and find a little lunge. From here, dip into your hips, lift your heart a little cow. Exhale, two straighter legs, hips towards the sky. You might need to move your left foot in a little bit to make space. And then see if you can draw your left hip gently forward and just kind of nudge the right hip back. Feel into the belly of the hamstring, breath in. On your breath out, bend into the right knee. And then lower the left knee all the way to the mat. Reach the arms up overhead, find Anjaneas, the low lunge. Stretch into the front side of the body by dropping down into the pubic bone and then lifting from the hip points. Reaching up and over, breathe in and out. Come through center, and then reach your left fingers forward, right arm back, finding a twist. Breathing into it, take an inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Come back up through your low lunge. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, find high crescent. Reaching up through the arms, feeling the hips shifting in towards one line, breathe in. Hands to the mat, breath out. Take your right leg back to meet your left high plank. And then lower your knees, lower your chest, lower your chin. Slide forward into cobra pose, planting through the tops of the feet, lifting through the heart to breath in. And forehead releases down, breath out. Slide your hips towards your heels, child's pose, rock back. Pause, hold, exhale. Inhale, rock forward into tabletop. Hug the pelvis gently forward. Find that length through your spine. And then take your left leg back behind you in space. Long line of energy. And then gently bend into the left knee. Stack the left hip over the right and feel the shoulder square. Inhale, where you extend your left leg long. Bring your knee in towards your nose, squeeze it. Inhale, take it long. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, and press up and back, three-legged dog. Take a big breath in here. Big breath out. Bring the knee in towards the nose, squeeze it, and lightly step it through. Once you arrive, dip your hips, lift your heart. Exhale, two straighter legs, cat lunge. Bring your nose down toward your left knee, and then shift your right hip and line gently with the, with the left. Find breath. See if you can find a little more space. One more inhale. Soften into the left knee. And then gently place the right knee down onto the mat. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Reaching towards the ceiling as you drop the pubic bone down. Lifting and lengthening across the heart. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Come back through center. And then find your twist. Right arm comes forward, left arm draws back. See if you can press your left fingers back behind you. Reaching through the right fingertips, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Come back up through your low lunge. And then tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, high crescent. Breathe in, feel the strong legs, long spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your left toes back, high plank. Lower down knees, chest and chin. Scoop your heart forward and up. Ujjangasana, cobra pose. Draw the elbows in, lengthen out. Forehead to the floor. Hips to heels, child pose, rock it back. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, come back through tabletop pose. And then find that little pelvic tilt as you extend your right leg back. Start to open up through the hip, bend the right knee. Inhale, re extend. Exhale, hug me into your nose. Inhale, extend. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, three-legged dog. Take a full breath in here, and then knee to nose as you breathe out. Step the foot through, sink into the hips, and then lift up, find your cat lunge. 
Drawing two straighter legs, hips towards the sky, breath. Breath out, bend into the right knee, lower the left, and reach the arms up overhead, on Take a deep breath and lengthen the front body. Breath out, open up, left arm forward, right arm drop back. Pause here, lengthen across the heart. You can stay with arms open or start to hinge from your hips, take your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Maybe placing your right arm on top and rolling the heart gently open. You can stay exactly as you are or start to tuck your left toes, perhaps lifting your left knee off the mat and you hold. Find space into your outer right hip and root. Feel the left heel pressing back, the thigh lifting away from the mat. Stay steady in your breath. Whether you're in the low twist or revolved crescent, we're going to come to high crescent pose, so maybe tucking your left toes, lifting the or simply unraveling your twist and lifting up high crescent pose. Take a deep breath in here. Stay for the breath out. Hands come down to the mat, find head plank. Shift back with your right toes, and then draw the weight gently forward. This time, you can lower the knees if you need or keep them lifted off the mat. We're gonna stay with the toes tucked and bring the belly down. Tap it on the mat and then inhale, press back up. Two more times, tap the belly down. And then press back up. Of course, if you need to skip these, you can always hold plank. Last time, lower down. And then lift back up. Bring your right toes off of the mat, three-legged plank. Hug your right knee to your right tricep. Bring it across to your left tricep, hold it three. Hold it two. Bring it into your yokes. And gently step it through. Spin your left heel down, open up warrior two. And then set up into your warrior two. Feel your shoulders releasing from your ears. Your neck is nice and long. Maybe take your fingers and spread them wide. Gaze up over your front hand. Really breathe in as you extend long into that right leg. And then inhale, extend forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Take it up and back. Lengthen across your right ribs. Feel the feet rooting into the mat. Deep breath in. Breath out. Warrior two, come back to your shape. And then reach your right fingers as far forward as they go. Stay here or take your left hand to your hip, maybe to the sky, or extend it over your left ear and start to roll your left heart open. Two more breaths. Stay with the strength in the legs. Feel the strength in the belly. On your next inhale, rise up, warrior two. Cartwheel hands down to the mat. Spin your left heel so that it's facing the sky. And then use your belly, use your legs to launch the left leg to the sky, standing split. Peel your left hip down. Finding deep breaths here. See if you can square that left hip even more and lift the leg. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more breath in. Bend into your right knee. Take the left knee back behind it. Shock these squat. Hands can be on the mat. Or you can lift them up through heart, holding three. Holding two, holding one, lift up through high, standing high knee raise, draw your left knee in, we had a visitor, which is lovely. <laughs> Breathe in, lengthen out, feel your low belly hugging in, and then maybe kick your left heel forward, find space. Breathe into it for three. You can always keep the knee bent, see if you can keep the shoulder soft for two. One, re-bend into your right knee, crossing your left thigh up and over. You can take a kickstand here on the mat, you can hang out with the foot in space. If you have a wrap, you can start to wrap the left toes behind the right calf. Sink a little deeper into the right leg and then reach your arms up and over. Left arm will come underneath the right. You can take shoulders, backs of palms or fronts of palms and then reach the elbows up and away and sink the seat a little lower. Balance might feel challenged. Holding here for three. Holding here for two. One, unravel the arms, unravel the legs. Come into standing high knee raise. You can kick the leg forward if that serves you for three. For two, one, set the left foot down, shake out the legs. Reach up, inhale. Shift the hips forward, cactus out through the arms, open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your hands down to the low part of your spine, grabbing opposite elbows or placing the fingers, palms together, fingers clasping. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, lift up through the heart, and then soften into the knees, bring your belly down towards your thighs. Find space in the back body. 
Maybe starting to reach your fingers far out over you so that you can reach them towards the front of your room. Draw your nose down below the, no the, the knees. Feel that space in your body, deep breath in. Breath out, release the bind. Let the hands come down the backs of the legs until they reach the mat. Halfway lift on your inhale. Plant your palms, step back through high plank as you exhale. Take a breath in to stabilize your plank. Breath out, lower halfway or all the way to the belly. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Scoop the heart forward and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift your hips towards the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. From here, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, lower onto the knees, find your tabletop pose. Hug your low belly and feel that strength. And then your tail's tucking slightly forward. Bring the left knee back behind you. Bend into the knees, stack the hip, roll it open. Inhale, re-extend. Draw your knee in towards your nose. <laughs> Inhale, re-extend. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, three-legged dog up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Left knee comes back into your nose, breath out. Step the foot through. Inhale, find cow. Exhale, cat, two straighter legs, hips reach up. Take a big breath in here. Stay for the breath out. As you're ready, bend into the left knee. Lower the right knee down, and then reach the arms up and overhead on Janayasana low lunge. Pressing up with the fingertips and dropping down with the pubic bone. Take a deep breath in. Open arm twist, reaching right fingers forward, left arm back. You can stay here, or you can start to hinge forward at your hips. Hook your right elbow outside of your left thigh and maybe place the left hand on top. If this is enough, stay. Continue to roll the left shoulder open and reach the ribs away from the thigh. If you need more, tuck your right toes. Lift your right knee and press into the top of the thigh. Find space here. See if you can feel sturdy in the legs. Feel really extended in the spine as you roll that left shoulder open. Take two more breaths. Whether your knee is lowered or lifted, one more inhale. And then we'll all meet in high crescent pose. We'll reach the arms up, find stability on the legs. Holding here, breathing into it. Hands down to the mat. Step the left toes back to meet the right high plank. One round, the knees can come down if you need. Tap your belly to the mat. Lift back up into your high plank, and then lift your left toes off of the mat. Squeeze your right knee into your left elbow, and then all the way across to the right and hold three. Hold two. One, bring it into your nose, and lightly step it through. Spin your right heel down, open up into your warrior two. Press into both feet. Feel the back edge of your right foot pressing into the mat. Stretch your fingertips long, and wide, breathe in, sink a little deeper, breathe out. On your inhale, reach your left fingers forward, flip your palm, exhale to reverse your warrior, take it up the back. Lengthen across your left ribs, holding here for a deep breath in, and then coming through your warrior two. Reach your left fingers forward, you can stay exactly as you are, take your right hand to your hip, to the sky, or up over your right ear. Hovering and send the side angle. Activate through your left side body. Feel your right side body beginning to roll a little bit more open. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Stay with it. One more inhale. One more exhale. Rise up through warrior two. And then take your hands, cartwheel them down to the mat. Spin your right heel up. Nose comes down below the left knee. Reach the right heel towards the sky. Taking deep breaths here. Square your right hip and line with the left, and then drive your nose down. Take a big breath in. Bend the left knee, tuck the right knee behind. Find your shakti squat, hands can rest on the mat or come through heart. And we're holding here for three. For two, standing high knee raise. Come up onto the left leg, draw the left knee in. Breathing here. You can stay or extend the leg, holding. And then just gently begin to bend the left knee. And then bring your right leg up and over. So again, you can take it in kickstand. It can be in space. 
If you have the wrap or somewhat of a wrap, I can come behind the left leg. Then bring your arms out like a T. Again, right arm underneath, you can grab shoulders, backs of palms or fronts of palms. And then once you find the stability, see if you can sink a little lower and draw the arms up and away. Maybe finding the hips and shoulders stacking, feeling balanced, feeling centered and grounded here. Holding here for three. Stay with it for two. Slowly unravel the arms, bring your right knee back up. Maybe extend the leg holding, or you can keep the knee bent if that serves. Draw the low belly in, holding three. Oop, holding two. Lower the right foot down, stretch the fingers up, turn the palms forward, cactus open across the heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank pose. Rock the weight forward, feel that strong plank. Lower halfway or all the way to the belly. Vinyasa of choice, coming through upward facing or cobra. Downward facing dog, shift your hips to the sky. Take three big breaths here to reset. See if you can breathe some space into the back side of the body. Take one more big breath in here. And exhale, let it out through the mouth. As you take your next inhale, find more length. And then as you exhale, either one at a time, forearms come down, or if you have the space, both at a time. And then once you get there, take your gaze out in front of your palms, soften into your knees. Don't overthink it. You can always step forward. Maybe try and pop your feet towards your elbows and sit low into your chair pose. All right. Once you arrive in your chair, sink your seat. Keep your heart lifting. Take a deep breath in and sink a little lower breath out. As you inhale, we're going to take our left arm forward, draw the right arm back. Pause and hold here in this twist. And then you can stay or start to hinge forward and bring the left elbow outside of the right thigh. Maybe right hand places on top. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you'd like more, reach the arms open. If you'd still like more, sink into it. Take your hands down. You can find a little shelf under one or both of the triceps. You can even slide this back right arm out so that you're only on one shelf. Take your weight out forward, look towards your hands, and then slide into your side row. Stay here, or maybe explore extending your bottom leg forward, your top leg back. Holding three, two, one. Bring the feet together, we'll meet in chair pose, lift up. All the way to stand, cactus the elbows, open up the heart, Exhale, take them down to your low spine. Opposite elbows or palms clasp. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. And then exhale, belly towards the eyes. Forward, full release into the legs. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Release the hands down the backs of the legs. Find a halfway lift. And step your left toes to the back of the mat. Sink into your hips, lift your heart. Exhale, cat lunge, two straighter legs, breathe in. Breathe out, bend into the left knee, right knee. <laughs> Take your left knee down to the mat. Reach your arms up overhead, find your low lunge, so right foot is forward. And then as you're ready, open up towards the windows, find your twist. And by the windows, if you left arm forward, right arm back. Take a deep breath in. If you'd like to move on, take your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Bring your right palm on top and roll the shoulder open. You can stay as you are or tuck again into your left toes. Lift your left knee, finding your revolved crescent. Two breaths. Keep opening up through your heart space. One more breath. On your inhale, find high crescent pose. Lift up. That back knee needs to lift. Find that back knee. Lift it off the mat. Hold on your inhale. As you exhale, turn your palms to face forward. Cactus open across the heart. Take your arms back up. One more time, turn the palms forward, cactus open, and then take the hands down to the low part of the spine, opposite elbows or palms, clasp, roll the heart open, and then bring your belly to hover just out over your right thigh. Find your breath. See if you can get that left hip a little bit more in line with the right, and then either stay here and lengthen through your spine, strengthen your legs, or if you have the space, bring your right shoulder towards the inside of your right thigh. Take one more full breath. 
On your inhale, we're going to spin open warrior two. Spin the left heel down, reach the arms out wide. Bend into the right knee. Reach the right fingers forward, flip the palm. Reverse the warrior two, you get up and back. Inhale here. Exhale, hovering extended side angle. Hand to hip, sky or up over the left ear, holding two. One, gaze down at your right toes. Start to shift your weight forward. You can always open your wings or find a block underneath your right hand. Or keep shifting forward until you can start to uh, straighten into this right leg as the left leg lifts behind you, holding, breathing, find balance. We're here for three. Two, one, standing split. Square your shoulders and your hips. Nose comes down, left toes lift. Big breath in. Bend the right knee, shakti squat, hands through heart or stay on the mat. Come up into standing high knee raise, left knee floats in. Stay here or extend your left heel towards the front of the room. Bend into the right knee. Cross the left ankle, kickstand, float it or wrap. Reach the arms out, left arm under. Find the bind that works for you and then sink down. Take a deep breath in here. Sink a little deeper breath out. Once you're ready, inhale, reach the arms back up, but keep the legs, and then exhale your hands through your heart center. Stay here, or begin to twist so that your right elbow comes forward. Maybe stay and explore this shape. If you have the space, begin to hinge from the hips. Take your right elbow outside of your left thigh. Consider planting your palms and shifting forward onto your forearms, maybe re-wrapping the legs in our eagle side crow. Holding for three. Two, one, coming back through center, we'll all meet. Standing high knee raise, left knee draws in. Maybe extend the left leg long for three. Hold it for two. Release the toes, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, soften. Halfway lift here. Plant the palms if you want to add on. Maybe take your feet out a little wider knees to armpits or triceps, and come into crow pose for two breaths. If you don't want crow pose, vinyasa of choice. Go through your plank, low plank, back bend of choice, and we meet in downward facing dog. Find your breath, and draw your hips towards the sky. Soften your inhales and exhales. Take another full breath in. As you exhale, either one at a time or both dolphin pose. And then take your gaze forward, soften your knees, and float the feet towards your elbows, chair pose. If that doesn't work, step to the top of your mat and find chair. Sink into your seat, inhale. Open up, right arm forward, left arm draws back. Broaden through your heart, and you can stay here. Or start to hinge from the hips and bring your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Maybe left hand places on top of you, roll the left shoulder open. Stay here, or maybe you open your wings, big breath. If you like, side crow. You can come down into the legs, so bending the knees a lot. This left hand can crawl away from your hip, and then you can hook your right arm um, on the left thigh. So maintaining the twist, press into the right hand, shift your weight forward, hug your belly in, and maybe the feet begin to float. If you get to this space and you want to explore, consider extending your bottom leg out, top leg back, holding for three, for two, one, come back through your chair pose, lift up, stay for the exhale, all the way to stand, big breath in, cactus open up, inhale, find your breath, reach up, and exhale, forward fold, soften, inhale, take a halfway lift, Exhale, soften. Come all the way back up to stand, rise up. And then open the palms, cactus. Take your hands to the low part of the spine, opposite elbows or clasp the palms together. Roll the shoulder blades up and back. And then exhale, belly towards thighs. Bend the knees, fold out over your legs. Let your head and neck release. Let the knees be soft so that you can focus on lifting the hips and really rooting through the feet and making space across the heart. One more breath. Release the hands down, the backs of the legs, soften into the fold. Take a halfway lift, lengthen. 
and then right toes step back. Once you arrive, dip your hips, lift your heart. Cat lunge, two straighter legs, hips toward the sky. On your next breath, bend into your left knee. Drop the right knee down. Reach the arms up and overhead. Find your Ajnayasana low lunge. Take an inhale and then open right arm forward, left arm back. Stay here or hinge forward for a minute. Take the right elbow outside. Plant the left hand on top and then roll the left shoulder open. Stay or begin to tuck your right toes. Lift your right knee, revolve crescent. We're holding, we're breathing. Staying with the breath. Take one more full inhale. Wherever you are, whether the knee is lowered or lifted, come to high crescent pose, lift up. Find the stability on your legs. Press the right heel back, press the top of the thigh away from the mat, breath in. Turn your palms to face forward and cactus open across the heart. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn the palms, cactus open. This time, take the hands down to the low part of the spine, opposite elbows or palms clasp. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, lift up. Belly's gonna hover just above the left thigh. See if you can keep the right hip square and gently forward. You might need to adjust a little bit. Hug the belly in so that your legs and belly are strong. Stay here, or if and when you have the space, start to lower the left shoulder to the inside of the thigh. Breathing into that right hip, drawing it forward. Breathing into that left hip as you bring it slightly back. Take two more breaths. One more deep breath. Come all the way up to warrior two, reach up, and then open up. Left knee is bending, right outer edge, or right outer edge of your right foot presses into the mat. Reach forward, flip the palm, reverse your warrior. Extend and hover inside angle as you are ready. Reach the left fingers forward, maybe hand to hip, the sky or out over. We're holding three, two, one, knees down at your right left toes. Scoot your right foot in until it floats, and then as it floats, begin to lengthen through your left leg. Hands can be out in like a T. You can lower to a block. You can maintain whatever variation of arms you would like. Balancing, holding here for three, two, one. Square the hips and shoulders, standing split. Right leg reaches high. Exhale, shakti squat, squeeze in. Hands can stay on the mat or float to heart. And then lift all the way up, standing high knee raise. Bring your right knee in towards the chest. Stay or extend the leg. And then bend softly into the left knee. Wrap the right leg around. Find your eagle in your legs. And then reach your arms up. Find your eagle in your arms, it's right arm under left. Scoop the elbows up and away, sink the seat, find the stack. Two more breaths. We're gonna stay with the eagle in the legs. One more breath. On your inhale, just release the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart. From here, we're gonna hinge at the hips, and then we're gonna see if we can get, we stay, we can twist the torso, or see if we can get our left elbow uh, outside of our right thigh. You might find one side is very different or more wobbly than the other, which in my case is true. You can stay here, or begin to lower your palms, shift your weight forward, Side pro variation. Keep wrapping the thighs. Maybe take your gaze forward and smile. Breathing three, two, one. We'll meet in standing high knee raise. Slowly with control if you can come out. Boop. Reach the right knee in. Maybe extend the leg holding three, two, one. Lower the toes. This time reach up. Turn the palms forward. Cactus open across the heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release the hands to the low spine. Option here, you can walk your feet out a little wider. I like getting the bow mats width and then turning the toes gently in. You can keep feet together if that feels better for your fold. And then start to open up through the heart first. Maybe take your gaze up, soften into your knees, and draw the belly down. Lifting up through the arms, feeling the softness through the chest, letting gravity take over. Stay here, or release the bind if it isn't serving. Breathing, gently softening into this posture. Your knees can be as bent as they need to be. Keep 
lengthening out across the back side of the body. Taking one more breath in. And breath out. If you would like, release the bind. Bring the hands out in front of you, setting up for our second round of crow. If you don't want crow, step back through plank. Find a chaturanga, up dog cobra, downward facing, or meet us in downward facing. If you want crow, shift the weight into the palms. See if you can hug your belly in so much and your gaze stays nice and forward, maybe one foot lifts, maybe the other, and then hug your heels in towards your seat. Maybe then press into the palms and lengthen the arms, holding three. Two, one, vinyasa of choice. You can hop, step, or float back. If you're already in downward facing, enjoy the extra breath here. Find your inhales. Find your exhales. Take two more breaths here. One more big breath here. On your next breath in, we're going to reach our right leg high. And then go ahead and bend the knee, stack the hip, roll it open. Feel that gentle extension. And then extend the leg and lower it down, switch sides. I was not fearing you this time. <laughs> bend the knee, stack the hip open. And then when you're ready, inhale, extend and drop it down. Come down onto your knee. And then sit back onto your heels for a moment. Okay, we're going to take three rounds of camel. So variations that you can play with. Um, you can stay more upright. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. You can keep your tops of your feet on the back so that you're sit sitting on the shins and the tops of the feet for a little more height. Or if you have the space, bring the tops of the feet down. Okay, and as you work in the camel, Ustrasana, or back bend, Think about it as a lengthening for the, the front side of the body, so we're trying not to dump into the low spine. Okay, once you have your setup, take your hands and just, I like my hands to be sort of like they're in my back pockets, like jean pockets. If this isn't comfortable for you for the shoulder rotation, you can always take your hands up to the sides. Okay, but I like this because it gives me a little leverage. I can sort of gently guide my hips forward and keep them there by using the palms. And then I can lift up through my heart, draw my elbows uh, in slightly so that my chest is already open and then take my gaze towards the ceiling. This might be as far as you go today. This is awesome. Otherwise, keep lifting, lengthening, keep pressing the hips forward and maybe tracing the ceiling with your gaze. Maybe you get here and you stay. Maybe you have space to reach for one and then the other heel extending into the front side of the body. It's very hard to talk in your straps and then Take two more breaths. One more breath. We're going to come out the same way we came in. Bringing hands either back pockets or to heart. And then sit down onto the heels. Neutralizing the spine. Taking one full breath here. Exhale. On your inhale, rise back up onto the shins. If you want to try that top of foot down, if you're already there, moving on, please do. Take your hands to the small part of the low part of your back and then palms in and then draw the elbows in. Lift up through the heart, lengthen across the chest, and then start to take your gaze up, 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 up until it cannot go up anymore and start to drop back. Stay here, or if you have the space, the hips can stay gently forward. Reach for a heel, maybe another heel. And then see if you can draw the shoulder blades together and lengthen across your heart space, holding two more breaths. One more breath. Hands can come to low spine, or if you have the space heart center, and then sit back on your heels. We're just here for a full breath in and a full breath out. One more round. Come back to seated on the shins. You can come to the toes or have the tops of the feet on the mat. If you want, bring your hands to the uh, low part of your spine and draw the hips forward and find this variation. If you're feeling pretty steady, you want to explore a little bit of depth here, and you have the space and you're not crunching against the low spine, reach your arms up overhead. Take your palms together, index fingers pointing towards the ceiling, calling mudra. 
Take your hips forward, draw your biceps back, lift your gaze, and then maybe start to trace the ceiling the same way and find the edge. Breathe in and breathe out. Three more inhales. Come through center when you are ready. And either hands to low spine or heart center. And then drop down onto your shins. Take your one hand, one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly. Close your eyes. Maybe take hands to shins and just gently rock them apart for a moment. Bring the feet back down onto the floor, knees pointed towards the sky. 
And then just like before, take your left ankle this time and cross it over your right thigh. And then maybe gently nudge with the left hand into the inner part of the left thigh, give it a little space. And then if you can, start to lift your right foot off of the mat, flex both feet so you have nice active legs. Take either your hands around the thighs and take hold here with the safer pressing into the mat. If you have more space, you can take hands through window, hands behind your right hamstring or in front of your right shin. Once you find whatever bind is serving your practice, Soften into your left hip. See if you can draw the sacrum down. Let the shoulders be down on the mat and just give into your breath. Give into the sensation in your body. Feel that stretch along your left side, glute and hip. One more breath here. As you're ready, release your right foot to the mat. You can take your arms out like a cactus or airplane and then bump your hips a little bit over to the left side of your mat. Release your feet over to the right. Again, if this is not suiting you, take your left leg and just simply stack it on top of the right. Wherever you are, Turning your gaze over your left palm, maybe softening the eyes. If you still have space in your figure four, take your right hand to the inner part of your thigh and just gently nudge it away, or you can even reach it towards the ankle. Whatever is serving you here, breathe into it. Let your slow spine start to release. Feel the softness through your left ear and left shoulder. Take three more breaths, slowing it down. Maybe that five or six count inhale. Five or six count exhale. One more breath. twist, bring your left knee in towards your left shoulder, bring your right knee in towards your right shoulder, hands just around the shin and then pull the knees out wide. See if you can draw your sacrum, your tailbone back towards the mat. Take two soft breaths here. One more big inhale. And then as you're ready, draw your knees in through center. Bring your forehead up to kiss your knees, maybe grab for opposite elbows, scrunch everything in, take a big breath in through the nose. Empty all the air out of your mouth. <sighs> Inhale, extend long onto your mat. Flop your feet open, palms open, chest open. Shavasana. Know that you have done all of the hard work. You have arrived here on your mat in this restful, relaxed state. Give yourself this time to recenter, to focus on just your breath and your body. Let go of the need to control the movements or the breath. In fact, go ahead and let the lips be slightly parted. Maybe just let the breath fall naturally as it will. as you settle into this space, come back to that intention to stay connected to yourself, your knowledge, your intuition, to trust yourself to guide you as you did through this practice, to guide you into your day or wherever you're going from here when you get off the mat. You can stay here on your back as long as you would like.
But if and when you are ready to move on, wiggle your fingers, your toes, roll your wrists. Let everything come alive. And then when and if you're ready, stretch your arms up overhead, point your toes, feel all that stretch through the front side of the body. And then roll to one side, resting in the fetal position for a moment. Again, staying wherever you need for longer, lingering in any variation that's working for you. If and when you're ready, press to a comfortable seat, shins or sits bones with eyes closed if possible. Once you arrive in your seat, I invite you, or on your back if you're staying, I invite you to take your fingertips back together, so thumbs all the way to pinkies, and then spread the fingers out wide. Find your Hakini Mudra, and this time draw it in towards your heart center. Seal in your practice. Thank yourself for setting that intention to be here on your mat. And then when you're ready, join me in bringing our mudra up to our third eye as we acknowledge one another. Thank you guys for tuning in and being part of this. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Okay, yogis, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I was wobbling and shaking with you. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, you can reach me online. I'm at Jamie King Fit on pretty much everything. Um, and I'm gonna try to do more videos um, for those of you that can't make it into the studio um, ever or as we're sort of going through this interesting time. Um, and yeah, and let me know feedback. I appreciate all of it. Um, you know, I'm filming these myself, so if they are, you know, there's like mistakes or funny quality, just know that, you know, <laughs> it's an iPhone doing my best. All right. Thanks everybody. Namaste.